is Marvelyn Reed and welcome to another edition of A Journal of Love. All month long we're taking a journey through the music. Now it's quite, not quite what you think it might be. We're not exploring different styles of music. We're exploring worship and praise. This week we're gonna talk about the effect that it has on our quiet time. I was a risk taker as a child. And some of these stories my mom and I hear and she might be put back just a little bit. But we used to, we, we, I grew up on the south side of Chicago. And we lived on the third floor of a beautiful apartment building at that time. And I used to sit out on the ledge, no screen, just sit out on the ledge and look down and just talk to God. And, and when I was there, I would feel what I believe now at this age is His presence. Let me just talk to Him. My mom, I lost my dad when I was very young. And my mom taught that He taught me that He was my father. I had yet, yet not, I had not yet learned about Abba Father, but I had learned about Him as my father. I, I, I remember on the playground and, and people um, would talk about going home to their moms and dads because back then, as I remembered in the neighborhood we, are, we were in, there was a lot, of, a lot of mom and dads. And I did not have a dad and I was very ashamed of that fact. And um, I remember my mom teaching me that, that my father God was the best father that I could ever have, even though my earthly father wasn't here. My heavenly father was here. And he became my very best friend. Growing up, I would have these conversations with him, not knowing much, but as I got older, it was, it was, and I learned more about who he was and about his saving grace. When I think about worship, I think about his presence. Why I think worship is so valuable in your quiet time is because I think it invites His presence into where you are. It's not about asking God about anything, but it's about just worshiping Him for who He is and just being in awe of this God, our Father that is in heaven. See, being in His presence, it cultivates a deeper love and a deeper connection with Him. It cultivates you being able to recognize His voice in a greater way. One of my favorite subjects, and that's worshiping God. Being light, and I'm not talking about corporate worship, but I'm talking about your person, personal worship. You know, I can discern God's presence here right now, and I, you know, I just want to take this time to speak into your life and tell you that your best days are ahead. What the enemy meant for, for harm, God is going to turn it around and make it good. Believe that, receive that, and then walk it out. Your best days are not behind you, my friend. Your best days are ahead of you. This, this week, um, the song that God had, is a couple of songs that God has laid on my heart. One is, as the deer. Panted for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. And then my other one, welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. I love that song. And then, um, and then, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I'm 
found was blind but now i see god bless you bye